Hello folks, I've had a subscriber ask how to export a DVD or create a DVD from Premiere Pro, so I'm going to jump straight into it. First of all, I don't do DVDs too much anymore, uh, but you know, let's face it, a lot of us are working in high definition and people still have a lot of DVDs, DVD players, they want presentations and all for businesses. So here we are, uh, I've got a Adobe Premiere Pro project open here, and this one happens to be a 4K project. Where I shot some video in a supermarket just to show some of my friends over in Europe and all basically what a typical American North Carolina grocery store would be. So I have a sequence here that's actually 4K. Now we know that 4K is not going to work on a DVD, don't we? Because uh, 4K is you know is not 720 excuse me it's not 720 pixels wide by 480 tall, which is actually 480p. Now I have shot this piece of video if you see here on the screen in 16.9 uh, format. A lot of the old uh, DVDs were, uh, what were they? They were 4.3, uh, which would you know, be narrower and, and, you know, like black on the side here. But we're going to do a widescreen DVD in this example. So what I'm doing in Premiere Pro here, I have all my video already edited on a timeline. So this is all 4K video. It's huge. You can see over here uh, what the size of the video is, I think somewhere it shows, yeah, 3840 by 2160. Now, if, if your Premiere Pro doesn't look like mine, that is because I like to use the uh, workspace that is called Editing CS 5.5. I just got used to it years ago when I was doing a lot of editing in CS 5 and CS 5.5, so I've stuck with it. Still, all the things I'm going to be talking about are in just the same, pretty much the same places in your standard views that come with the uh, Premiere Pro CC. So I've clicked on, you know, you, of course you click on each window and this blue can appear around the outside of it, right? This is what I'm going to render out is this timeline right here. So I click anywhere inside here and the blue goes around it. I'm going to say File, Export Media. And how am I going to export this 4K video for a DVD? Well, we're going to have to size it down. It can't be 3840 by 2160. So we're going to, I'm going to still export as, as H.264. And if you go here and look, they actually give you an MPEG-2 DVD. If you want to do it as MPEG-2, that's fine. MPEG-2 DVD, I think, will sort of interlace the video. I don't usually do that. I usually stay with H.264. And this is just me because it keeps square pixels and it's not interlaced video. And I use Adobe Encore to make my DVDs. So this might, I'm, I'm talking to people primarily here who work with uh, the Adobe Suite, okay? So if you're planning on making your DVD with Encore and building your menus and stuff like that, if you want to, then, then follow what I'm doing here. You don't have to. You could go out and you could export MPEG-2 DVD and it will separate the file, the audio and the video, and give you two files. You'll have a WAV for the audio and then you'll have the video and you can pair that up in whatever DVD burning software you choose to use. I'm just going to show you my easiest and preferred way to do that, right? So I'm going to stay in H.264 here. Oh, pardon me. Okay. And then I'm going to go to uh, the, a size that I like. I think it maybe gives us that down here. Let's take a look and see if we don't have a NTSC DVD widescreen. See that? Or DV widescreen rather. And so what that's going to do, it's going to give us 720 by 480. And look at this. It is going to do a interlace here. We can tell it not to. I like to do progressive. See what happened here? Did you notice what happened? If I did lower. Now, now, now it may go ahead and do this when we go into Encore. But I like to just keep it. I like to keep it square pixels. Let's go ahead and look again what happened um, when I went away from lower, lower field first. You see how it's, you can actually see the interlacing going on here. Now, when it's played back on a TV, you won't notice that so much. I like to, when I render out, just go ahead and keep it progressive since I shot it progressive. And you see how everything just cleared back up when I went and did that. Uh, interlacing is something that may be done in the DVD, DVD process. I just have always gotten better results when I put the progressive video in for my render in Encore. So here I am, 720 by 480. And we've, if we pull this gray bar down over here to the right, we can see how much how much data we're giving it. Now, yeah, you can go up to about eight megs per second data. This is this is the recommended data rate that uh, Premiere is giving us here. I like to go up a little bit more of that. I like to go like five to eight. And so that's what I'm going to do. I like to give it really a lot of data. Now, again, it could be crunched down. 
uh, it's probably not going to be because this piece of video is only like 11 minutes long so I think Encore will probably do just fine with this so what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and export this video and because I want it to look really really good I want the colors to be really nice and rich I'm going to render at maximum depth see that here I'm also going to go in here and I'm going to uh, rend use maximum render quality now all this does is make it it takes it a little bit longer to do this what we're doing we're taking humongous 4k video and we're, going, we're, we're squashing it down in size to where it's only 720 pixels by 480 in a widescreen format so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to make this go to the right place and make sure i am and so here's my ingles grocery store and we'll call this ingles 4k grocery store and we'll call this for dvd okay i'm going to say uh, x save here okay and then we're going to go ahead and export now this will take a little while so we'll come back to you just in a minute okay so my encode is almost finished in Premiere Pro we're going to take a look at that just here in a moment and so here you're seeing uh, how we finished up let's go ahead and open up the file let me find it right quick so I'm in my Ingles folder here and here is the uh, 4k Ingles grocery store for DVD so let's just open it up and take a quick peep at it. We're only going to be seeing it. Uh, you're going to be seeing this with my screen capture from Snagit, so it'll only show at 10 frames per second. It'll look a little herky-jerky, my bad, in that regard. I just don't have the uh, Snagit that records it faster than 10 frames per second. So here we go. I'm standing inside an Ingalls grocery store in North Carolina. This is about five miles north of Rutherford College. I'm shooting in 4K, just trying to get some good 4K video that I can share with the world. So there we go. I have my video ready to go into uh, Adobe Encore DVD. So my next video, I'm going to do another video so we don't just drag on here, will be how to pull it into Encore DVD, uh, make a, a DVD title, and make a, a menu so that you can click on a button and it will start playing the DVD. So hang tight. That one's coming tomorrow night. Hope this helps the person who's asking how to format uh, video for a DVD and particularly since we're all shooting 16.9 at 720p now or at 1080p or even 4k sometimes 2.7k with the GoPros uh, maybe this will help you if you're trying to size your videos down to send to uh, people who have the older DVD players thanks hope this helps uh, video coming tomorrow night shows how to bring it into Encore and make all that magic happen peace